We are really excited about the art series. This is a tremendous and very significant innovation for, for the industry. It's the first time that we are basically bringing latex technology to uh, rigid printing. Uh, what do we get with that? We get basically extremely vibrant colors, uh, images that really stand out, that will help our customers to differentiate uh, from others that don't have uh, this technology. The, the quality, the colors that you are used to have in flexible printing with latex, now you will be able to have them also in rigid without the need to mount or anything like that. Also, these, uh, these latex scenes have been specially formulated to be extremely versatile, to be able to be used in many different rigid substrates, even those that are uh, uh, sensitive to, to heat, right? Uh, to make sure that our customers have endless possibilities when printing applications uh, in, in, rigid, in rigid materials. The printer itself is a hybrid system, so it can print not only in rigid, but also in flexible. So when you have to produce output that is in a campaign that combines rigid and flexible, you will have exactly, exactly the same colors. Something that today customers don't have, because usually they have to combine different technologies in flexible and in, in, in rigid. And the last thing I would like to emphasize is the productivity. Productivity of, our, of the print service providers has been taken into account when designing this device. And it's using a high precision belt that gives you the, the best of both worlds. It's a belt system, which is very productive, but with the accuracy of a, of a, of a flat bed that uh, really gets you the text, the text sharpness and the quality that you, that you would like. So high precision belt to give you quality in one side and also the, the, the productivity as well. Printing in rigid, you need white. Many of your substrates will not be white themselves, so you need to, to, to use the white color uh, to, to, to get the colors that you want. And uh, many of our competitors have white in their UV systems, and in latex, the, the characteristic of this white is that it's very bright, it's a true, true white, and very important, it stays white over time. We have seen many whites over, over there that uh, after some time they become yellowish, which is really ugly, really bad. It's not what you want in your prints. So this, this white is extremely white the first day, but it stays white over time, which is a, a tremendous achievement. The other, the other thing I would like to highlight about the white is that white is quite, can be a pain to manage uh, in terms of waste, in terms of uh, clogging the, the print heads, uh, you have to do a lot of cleaning, uh, you, you have to use a lot of ink, basically, to keep the print head alive. It's, very, it's a very thick pigment that clogs very easily the print heads. We have completely solved the, the, the management of white. It's automatic, it's managed by the printer and minimizes uh, waste. We have created a recirculation system inside the printer, so the, the ink is always flowing, and even within the print head, so you don't get uh, the clogging that you will otherwise get. On top of that, if you are not going to use white for a while, you just remove the print head, put it in a chamber, a rotation chamber, that keeps the print head alive with the ink inside. And when you do that, there is zero, zero consumption of white, because there is no print head cleaning or anything like that. So the nightmare of white, which is printhead clogging or waste on uh, printhead cleaning, we definitely address that uh, with, this, with this solution. I would say that the R series is a very good example of our direction. So first of all, we want to make sure that our customers, the print service providers, have the possibility to differentiate uh, what they offer to their clients with different applications, with innovation in applications, with applications that with new substrates, also with new finishing, they really help them to, to stand out. That's a, fundamental, uh, that's a fundamental strategy that we have implemented with Latex since the beginning, and now we are bringing to Rigid, and in the future we'll always be exploring what else can we offer to our customers so they can, they can uh, grow their portfolio of products that they offer to the print buyers. Another area that we are looking at, uh, that we are looking at is on the print service provider operations, really to make sure that we minimize the waste and we uh, optimize the, the productivity. We look at not only the printing, 
but uh, areas like, for example, finishing. Uh, one of the things of this, or the characteristic of this ink, is extremely flexible ink. It's an ink that uh, has very high addition level to the substrates, uh, and when you finish the substrate, for example, cutting, you don't get any chipping, you don't have any issue that with UV, many situations you have. UV has, uh, is very durable, it's very strong, it adheres to many substrates, but when you have to finish, like for example cutting, you have the risk to damage the brim, not with latex. Extremely thin film, extremely, extremely flexible, it adheres very, very well, the durability, the scratch resistance is really, really good, and, uh, and with that we can uh, offer uh, a better finishing or you you will be more you will be safer with with latex when finishing uh, our the substrates because you will not you will not damage lamination for example since it's so thin you will not have uh, the problems that sometimes with UV have that it's such a thick layer that in lamination you can have bubbles you can have issues in the lamination not with not with uh, latex it's an ink that we formulated especially for rigid to make sure that when uh, you finish the equipment, when you finish the, the, the substrate, you really don't have any issue. The printer itself, uh, uh, being a hybrid, high productivity uh, belt, uh, with the finishing that you will not have any issue, with the smart services that we are launching with it, which is a combination of sensors, algorithms, and applications that really prevent the printer really from being down without you knowing. So we will be able to detect if the printer is going to have a problem before it happens, so we can plan basically a maintenance uh, instead of just having the printer uh, not, not working when you need it the most. So many, many different, de many technologies and details that we have implemented really having the print service providers operations in, in our mind. That, those two, I think, is, is the direction that we go, right? Offer more possibilities to our print service providers offering more applications to their customers, to agencies, to brands, and then, of course, making sure that their operations are efficient, are predictable, and then they minimize waste and reprints. I think that, in fact, we see more appetite to differentiate. Uh, at the end of the day, a print can become a commodity if everybody offers the same. So our customers are always looking for ways to improve their margins and offer something that other people can off cannot offer. Uh, on the materials themselves, on the, on the substrates, on the finishing, but also on the response time, no? to be able to say, to tell to the customers, you can have it really soon. This is why the productivity, but I would say predictable productivity is, is uh, so, so important. Another trend that we see is uh, operate globally, but be close to your customers. So this is where online is going to be important, especially to capture jobs. But then being close to the customer in the printing to minimize also the, the cost. We see a big trend on urbanization, right? So population is, is coming to, to cities more and more. Uh, 100 years ago, 15% of the population was in city. By 2050, 75% of the population will be in cities. That's 2 billion people in the next years that will move to cities. This is a concentration of population. And with more people that there will be opportunities to communicate with them, with signage, but the principal providers will have to be close to that. That means pressure on real estate. That means the centralization of the, of the capability to production. And that's where basically we are looking at how to help them with devices that are versatile, that really minimize the amount of space that you need to produce a wide diversity of, of substrates and materials. So those are the trends that, that we see in printing. Customers are looking for differentiation, that is urbanization and pressure on getting things close to the customer with less space. And also with new generations, and, uh, millennials and Gen Z, that uh, have higher rotation. So we need to make sure that our solutions uh, can be learned with a fast run. So you don't need uh, somebody with 20 years of experience to operate the printer, that it's intuitive, that interacts you in a different way, like when you interact with your mobile phone. The new generations are used to work with technology in a different way. And this is also something that we need to be ready to, 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 to provide a solution.
It's awesome. It's amazing. I think uh, you see how vital this industry is. The level of innovation, the, 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 the level of creativity, and this is an amazing platform really to give the, the different manufacturers an opportunity to show to their customers and also the industry analysts what's going on. It's, it's a great opportunity to pulse how alive the industry is and is extremely alive. And for us, for HP, this is great. It's, uh, this is our big day to announce our R series and this is where customers can touch it for the first time. And we are very excited of, of, of having that opportunity and, I think this is a, a great platform to make that happen, to, to have all the players together so customers can compare, they can see, they can touch, they can feel side by side. And, and that's, unless we had this type of platforms to do that, that will be very difficult.